Hello, glad you're here. Let's do part two of the Santa hat. You can see I've completed the brim. I'll have some more information and measurements once we get to the tutorial part, but you can see this does not look like it's gonna fit on my head. Watch how stretchy this is. In the first part of our Santa hat tutorial, I explained that this yarn was quite stretchy and you can see that it definitely is. So with the Santa brim, we're going to be folding this up so that it is doubled. And when we get to the tutorial, I'll show you how to join these around with the red yarn. But for right now, I just wanna to prove to you that it will fit on my head. So here we go. Pretty cool, right? So now let's go to the tutorial. So I knit, this is a hundred stitches that we cast on and I knit two by two rib for about six inches. And then when we double this over, that means it's gonna be about a three inch brim. And I have already cut the working yarn. So I'll show you how to uh, weave that in when we add in the red yarn, when we get ready to go here. And so we are going to fold this up. And we're going to knit through the front and the back. So we'll knit through what we cast on and what is live on the needles at the same time. And we're going to add in the red yarn to start the new row. So we follow this stitch all the way down its row, its column, until we get here. That is where we are going to put our needle through. And then we're going to put the needle through that side as well. And we're going to weave in this end at the same time. So we have the red yarn ready to go. You just want to make sure you leave a tail that is about four or five inches. And then you just literally put it on top of the needle that's going to be pulling through. Hold it with your other finger if you need to, and just pull it through. And if you need to do this one at a time, just do it one at a time. So there's one, and it gets a little fidgety because everything is loose. But if you pull it tight again, then you can pull it through the second one and then pull both of those off your needle. And now you have the next row started. We also have the tail from our cast on that we want to include here. So we're going to pull that up. The red will catch on the next round. To weave that in but for now we want to try and catch the white and yes it does get fidgety so we've got the front and the back there off so now we're going to go into the second stitch in each one of those that's why I was doing it wrong <laughs> through the front one and through that one, and we don't want that white one in there, so let's try that again. Where is that? Oh, that's our tail. Okay. So we will need to pull that through so it's not looking like it's an extra stitch. So we're going to pull the tail. We got this little space here. We'll just pull it through like that, put it behind this needle, and now we can hold both of those together as one string. 
one strand of yarn. And let's make sure that this is our working yarn. All right, we've got that. So now we're moving on to stitch number two. So we're still with the purl twos here. I'm gonna go under there through the back one, through the front one, and both of those off. So now we've got two live red ones. All right, so now we're going to try to work underneath these for our next stitch. Working yarn, make sure that's separate from the tail. Now we're going to go into the top of that knit stitch on the front and the one in the back, whoops. And then we're going to go underneath the tail, tail z, and just simply pull underneath. And then the same here, just pull through and then both those off. So now we're gonna go over the tail to capture it. We'll go in the top of that knit one, top of that we are over the tail, you can see that right there. So we're going through there. And this one's going to be tight, but we're going to make it. And we did it. And then both of those off. Let's do that again. Now we're moving on to the pearls in the front. So we're going to go through that those chains on the top we go through there we're also going to go under the tail this time so under the tail grab the red make sure the tail doesn't come through at the same time so we're through that stitch on the back needle and now we're going to pull through the stitch on the front needle. And off they come. And now we're gonna go into the next set of purl stitches. We're gonna do that and we went under last time. So now we're just gonna knit as if that tail was not there. Capture it. And pull through there. And off the needle. And now we're on to these two knit stitches. And you just continue all the way around. You're gonna cat we're gonna go under the tail this time. So this way. because we want to capture that tail in about six or seven stitches as we're going. And that way we won't have to weave it in later. We can just trim it, trim it flush. All right, and that's what it looks like on that side. Don't keep your needle in there. <laughs> but you can see as we're going, we've got live stitches. So we are going to continue in this manner off camera all the way around so you're going to keep going one by one all the way around there is an alternate method that you can use if, if you don't want to use this needle to go through both stitches you can absolutely use a crochet hook let me show you how that works so we are moving on to this column of stitches now. So we're going to grab the two chains that are above that. And then we'll go through the stitch on the back needle. And we're weaving in our tail a couple more times. So we went over this last time. So we're going to go under it this time and grab that red, come through the stitch on the back needle through the stitch on the front and then just lift it up onto the front needle and pull it tight 
And then don't forget to take that stitch off the back when you snug it up. So now we're going through the next V here. Chains on the top, we'll go through the stitch that's on the back needle. And now we want to go over the tail. So we'll grab that, go through the back stitch, and then we'll go through the front stitch. And then you can lift that and put it on the front needle, pull that tight, take the stitch off the back needle. Whichever way you decide, whether you want to crochet them off or you want to knit them off, it's your choice. Maybe try them both. And there is one more way that you can knit these stitches off and it ends up actually giving you a row of white stitches at the end of your ribbing before you add on your red. But you can see it looks a little bit neater back here because we have a nice chain row and then we connect the red in as opposed to the knitting together of everything up to that point. So the front needle, the first needle, I did all the knit togethers and then the second needle and um, what I'm actually going to do is take the two loops, just like we did with the first method and the second method. And then I'm going to take off that one from the back and pull it through. So now you've got that chain of white, but then you take the red and pull it through the single stitch of white and put it up on your front needle. So let's see that one again. We go through the top stitch just like normal on the front. We take that stitch off the back needle, pull it through the front one, and then grab red and pull red through the front, through that white stitch, sorry, and then lift it up on the front needle. One more time. Find our spot over the knit stitch here. That's our next knit. That comes off the back needle, pull it through the front white stitch, and then grab the thread, the red, and pull it through the white, and put it up on your front needle. So there you have it. You've got three different ways that you can pull your ribbing stitches together and get your red stitches live. Right, we have finished going all the way around and capturing both of the white stitches together. I showed you three different methods to do that. But now you can see all of our live stitches that are on the needles are red. So this next round, we're going to need to catch the tail of the red and weave that in. You can see we've already got the white woven in here. And so now we can snip that one. These scissors are pretty cool. They're folding. They're TSA compliant. So if you want to take these with you when you travel, these will let you get through security in the airport. And then you just snip. And this can go in your scrap yarn repository. All right, so we're still doing magic loop. So we've got our loop down here. We've got both of our needles here. So going back to our normal magic loop. So now we've got a loop on the left and a loop on the right. And we're going to do our over under just as we were doing before to weave in this tail. So we're going to, when you're connecting, remember to avoid the laddering here. You want to bring this cable up as far as you can to the front needle. 
knit like normal, and then the next stitch we're going to go under the tail. And because that's the second stitch from where we transitioned from the back to the front, we're going to tug that to make sure we don't get a ladder there. Next stitch is over top of the tail. Next stitch is under the tail. And over the tail. And under the tail. And then last one over the tail. And then we're just going to tuck the tail down in. And now the next bit of the pattern just calls for you to knit in stockinette for about five inches. So that's the end of today's tutorial. Keep going until you've got your five inches knit. And then we will meet back here for part three, where we are going to start the decreases. Happy knitting!